If you're looking to build a website, any kind of website, one thing you really need access to is tons of photos and videos, or at least a wide collection of photos and videos. So in this video, I'm going to tell you five places where you can find excellent stock photos and videos and all for free. Let's begin. So the first website you can use to download tons of free photos that you can use freely on your website is the WordPress photos directory. I'll leave a link down in the description of this video. And of course, I'll, use, I'll place that on screen as well. And this currently, as you can see from the screen, is not a fully, uh, I'd say, launched directly. It's still in the kind of a beta phase, but still you can have or you can find 1,281 free stock photos here. And this number keeps growing every day. If you come uh, or watch this video a few days later, you'll find this, this number has grown. And you find a lot of variety of images. You have images of food, images of nature, locations, animals, tons of different photos. And of course you can search to find the images that you like. And the best part is that all these images are CC0 license. There's uh, uh, CC0, that means Creative Commons 0, kind of uh, meaning that they're in the public domain, which means you can do anything with these images. You can use this, uh, them on your website, you can modify them, just redistribute them, print them on your marketing material anywhere. You can use this without any uh, fear of having any kind of legal, legal obligations or uh, royalty payments. So that's the first website. Let's move on to the next website. The next amazing website for tons and tons of free photos that you can use freely is unsplash.com. Now, if you're on the web and if you're spending time on the web, you haven't heard of unsplash.com, I'd be surprised. But if you're a beginner, maybe you haven't heard of the website before. Unsplash is a gorgeous looking website. And the best part is you have millions, literally millions of stock photos that you can start using uh, and downloading. And all of these images are really, really not only high quality, beautiful looking images, but all these images are also high resolution images. So if you want to like crop them or use only a part of the image, that is also possible. The search function is pretty good. Let me just search for uh, workplace. And you'll find tons of images in kind of every department or every, any kind of search term that you want. And all of these are free to download. You can use them and you can search by or filter them by orientation or specific color palettes if you're looking for a specific kind of color palette images. And as I said, uh, all these images are royalty free. You can use them on your website. No attribution required, but it is welcome. And if you want to learn more about the licensing details, they have freely mentioned licensing details on the website. But uh, short version, use them anywhere on your website, commercial purposes, everywhere. Beautiful website, make sure to check it out. Okay, the next website I would recommend that you check out for free photos and more importantly, free videos is called pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. I'll leave a link on in the description, of course, and also on the screen. And this is, a, again, an amazing website with tons and tons of free photos. But most of the time when I use this website, it's not for photos, but to find specific stock video. For example, let's say I search for the beach. And right here, you have images, but if you look here, you have 80,000, almost 18,000 images that you can use, uh, which are related to the beach, wallpapers, any kind of images. But you also have 12,000 videos that you can download. And most of the times when I download any of these videos, they are in 4K resolution. So 4K videos that you can use for free, you can crop, reframe them and use them on any kind of material. You can use them on like background uh, videos on your website, maybe use them in your marketing material, on your YouTube videos like this. If you have watched some of my videos where I use stock videos, probably it's from pexels.com. Fantastic website, fantastic uh, licensing terms, very uh, free, uh, no obligations to uh, license or pay any money or even like attribute them. But of course, you if you attribute them, it's always welcome. Wonderful site, definitely check it out. The next website on my list is called pixabay.com. I'll leave a link down in the description, of course, and also on the screen. And the reason I love Pixabay so much is not only just because of the beautiful imagery that, ha that they have, the licensing term, but it's a, it's a website where you can find a lot of different kinds of assets. Not just photos, you can find illustrations, vectors, videos, music, and sound effects. Now, I would say photos and a couple of other categories are where Pixabay shines the best, but you do get all these options of downloading sound effect, music, videos, all with a very, very free licensing terms. You don't have to pay any money for licensing these assets. And the images themselves, if you look at them, are gorgeous, high quality images that you can download without having to spend uh, any kind of money. And fun fact, if you use one of our products, uh, for example, the Astra theme, and if you try and use any of our products, for example, Star Templates alongside of it, we do provide an inbuilt integration with Pixabay. So you don't have to go to their website, just to use the product and inside you'll find an integration where you'll be able to find and replace images on your site directly coming from Pixabay. It's a wonderful website. That's why we integrate our products with it. Make sure to check it out. The next website on my list is called Gratisography. And from the title of this page, you can see it's, it's they themselves call them truly unique, usually whimsy, always free. 
And that's completely true or how I would define the website. If I were to just uh, give you one term on the, uh, one term how I would define the images on the site, I'd say wacky is the right term, U unique is another term. You'll find a lot of uh, differently themed images on the site. Some are funny, some are really weird, some are awkward, but that's the USP of this website. You fi you'll find images here that you are very, you are bound to not find anywhere else. And that's, that's one of the best parts about this site. Of course, all the images are beautiful, high quality. Uh, they are sharp. It's not like some images are out of focus. All the images are beautiful and you can use them freely again on your site. So if you don't find maybe a kind of image that you don't expect to see or find on stock, uh, uh, other regular stock media sites, for example, dumpster fire, <laughs> you can just come to this website. And of course, apart from photos, you also have the option to find, find and use some vectors. The vector section is not completely uh, as extensive as the photo section, but again, anything that's free and high quality is usually welcome. Make sure to check it out, the vector section, but more importantly, check out Gratisography for their usually unusual images that you can use on your website for free. And if that's not all, if you want to find out more, more uh, websites where you can find uh, excellent images, we have put together a list of 20 different websites where you can find tons of images. And some of these I already mentioned to you right here. And these are all the images. And of course, a link to uh, this blog post will be in the description of this video. So you can check out all the images or not on the websites I mentioned, but also 20, uh, again, 20, more than 20 images or 20 websites where you can find stock photos. You can now start using them on your website. So that was my collection of the best websites you can go to to download free stock media or stock images for your website. But sometimes just downloading and using image doesn't cut it. Sometimes you have to cut out the background from an image to be able to use it on your website. And if you want to learn to do how to do that, I have a video right here, which you can watch. And I'll teach you in that video how to cut out the background from images so that you can use them on your website. Make sure to watch that video. Subscribe to this channel. You're watching Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, stay safe.